Good evening, everyone. This is Rowan Peterson of Your News Now, a compilation of news stories for the day. It is Monday, October 14, and it is 6 p.m. I'm Ian 601 p.m. Our first news story is that Miley Cyrus twerks again. Is that it? There's nothing on the teleprompter. Yes. And that'll be all for the first news story. The second news story is that NASA is up in space right now as we speak. And their next mission is to discover whether or not alien life really does exist on Mars. I mean, hasn't it always been that? <laughs> <laughs> there are cameras up there right now, so let's check in on them and see how they're doing, shall we? Hey, how's it going? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. What you doing up there? Uh, you know, just chilling. Just chilling? Isn't there a mission that you're on? Aliens? Uh, well, we haven't really done any... Uh, yeah, there are oh. aliens. There are. You do. Yeah. What do they look like? They're green. They're green? That, that's it? Mm-hmm. Uh, other than that, we're just hanging out in space. It's a really nice view. It's mesmerizing. This, the Earth is just so big. <laughs> you know, I didn't, I didn't think it would be that big. You know, I thought it would be big, but it's not accurate to the globes that we saw in geography class at all. Yeah, yeah, they're not accurate at all. Is this guy an idiot? How'd he get into NASA? Wait a second. Is that the debris from the Space for Dummies handout? It's big! It's huge! It's pointy! It's shiny! It's really shiny! If I could cut one up and make a ring for my wife, I would definitely- ah! Alright, great. Uh, final news story, we have a meatball catastrophe back here in Earth. Nobody really cares about that though. Nobody knows the details. Everyone cares about space right now. But we have Jimmy on the scene. Uh, there's meatballs flying everywhere. Tell us about what's going on, Jimmy. Man Mark here, and today I am Flint Lockwood, or as the cop would say, Flint Lockwood! And today I'm reviewing the very surprise sequel to Cloudy with the Chance Meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Not! Who saw the first one, then walked out and saw it made money, and was like, wow, too bad there won't be a sequel. Same thing with Shrek, you think that was the last time you're gonna see him? They're making a Shrek TV show. Then again, it's gonna be on Netflix, so a little bit of a downgrade. I can't believe my machine created all of this! What makes this movie different than other animated movies? Well, the food puns. What am I talking about? Well, Flint Lock would be like, Ah! There's a leak in the boat! And then there is actually a leak in the boat! And the cast is great! You got Bill Hader, Anna Ferris, Andy Samberg, Benjamin Brad, Neil Patrick Harris, and Mr. T. Not Mr. T. The movie starts off and it kind of feels like a direct-to-DVD sequel, which is terrible. Once you get to that climax, though, it's kind of a shortage. At the beginning of the film, Flint is like, I'm going back to Swall Falls to destroy the Flint Slipper, which is creating desert food animals that are trying to learn to swim so they can attack Lady Liberty! They didn't attack Lady Liberty! When you, when you tease something like that at the beginning, you have to actually see it. I thought it would be way cooler if they had like an apocalypse at the end, as part of the climax, and you see like all the animals just ripping apart Lady Liberty, New York's going down. That would have been so cool. But... The jokes are still there. And whenever there's a kid joke, like there's one part where there's a bunch of cheese everywhere and the cop is like, I'm gonna cut the cheese. <laughs> it wasn't me. I would have loved that joke as a kid, because any joke that has to do with cutting cheese <laughs> tickled my fun and bone. Kids are gonna love it, but then again, kids pretty much love any movie. This is the conversation if you take a kid to see a movie. So what'd you think? God. That's it? And what else? Uh, it was, it, uh, it was funny. It was funny when when you cut the cheese. They're not too critical. I'll give it a 3 out of 5 because it's a fun movie, but it's a big disappointment if you're expecting a good follow-up to the first movie. Next up, Gravity, the sci-fi film directed by Alfonso Cuaron starring Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. The whole idea is that Sandra Bullock gets lost in space and she has to make it home. There you go. And at the beginning of the movie, George Clooney's like, that is where we need to go. And it's like such a small distance, it's like, why can't you just float there? And then the movie goes on and I'm like, oh, haha. <laughs> That's why. I saw this movie in D-Box, and for those of you who don't know, it's the motion seats. This is the first ever movie I saw in D-Box. And obviously the difference between an amusement park ride and a movie theater ride is there's no seat belt, and the seats don't move that much where you're like, ah! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> for the whole movie, it was pretty much like this. I felt like I was floating in space. I felt like any minute Sandra Bullock could turn around and be like, What you doing here, boy? What you doing here, boy? I'm gonna keep going on with that voice because it's awesome. What you doing here, boy? Don't you need a spacesuit? You're gonna die! What's that on your face? 
rocking those glasses, eh? Real D3D. Ooh, haha. <laughs> Hot. I should buy myself a pair once I get down to Earth. You forget about the styles when you're up in space for so long. And the coolest part is there's a person named Kowalski. It was like, Kowalski, progress report. And I was like, Madagascar. It's a short movie though. It doesn't feel like a whole movie. It kind of starts in space. There's no character development on Earth. They kind of talk about Sandra Bullock's character throughout the movie and what she's been through. You never see it though. There's no flashbacks, which I, I was expecting. Uh, so this is a, obviously a choice on the director's part. They want you to just imagine it, I guess. But still, it didn't feel like a full movie. I can't give it 5 out of 5. It's not a perfect movie. Um, it didn't feel complete. It went by super fast. So Gravity was a cool movie. I noticed they even wear the things on their head that Buzz Lightyear kind of wears. Which I was like, that makes sense. So I don't know how I didn't pick up on that earlier. I thought Buzz Lightyear was the only one that wore that thing. Why can't we learn about that stuff in science class? What spacemen wear under their helmet? 4.5 out of 5 space rockets. Mega Marks, not space rockets. Never changing the rating system. As of now. Alright guys, let me know in the comment section below which movie did you see and which one did you prefer if you saw both. And like the video if you want to to show me that I should do more videos with Rowan Peterson, the news reporter. Alright guys, that's it. And remember, subscribing to Mega Movie Man March is mega cool. Flit like wood!